Hello everyone, in this part we will update our weapon. And in the next video we will add a pistol. Before adding another weapon, I decided to change the model for rifle, because I found a set of weapons that will be fully sufficient for our project. You can download it from the marketplace, and it's a free set. If you see that the recommended version is 427, don't worry, I checked and it works well with 5.4. To input it into your project you have to click Add to project, then show all projects and select the project to input it into. Next select 427 and add it to your project. In the asset pack every model is skeletal mesh. To work easily with the new assets, I want to use the rifle from the asset package first. To do this let's make the same sockets as in our current model. Now we have to add the same sockets to the new model in similar places. Next open BP weapon and add a skeletal mesh and replace every usage of static mesh. To find usages, use find references and replace them with a new mesh. Next open BP gun and attach an arrow to the skeletal mesh. Select the assault rifle for preview. Also select the shooting point as the parent socket and drop arrow transform. Lastly open back BP weapon and delete the static mesh. Now we have to make it to fit our character. Open BP character, go to the viewport and move the weapon to fit the character. Also fix the left hand socket position. Next let's test it. It looks not bad. Next we have to add a data asset for our weapon. Open blueprints, weapon folder. And add a class inherited from primary data asset. Name it BP weapon data asset. Open it and add variables. Mesh of skeletal mesh. Animation class of class reference to ABP character. And transform of transform. Next let's create an asset of the new asset type. Open the assets folder. 
create a folder named data asset. Inside this folder, create a data asset of BP weapon data asset. Name it DA rifle weapon. Open it and select assault rifle mesh. Set a BP character as the animation class. For the transform, open BP character. Select the weapon and copy the location and rotation. Paste these values into data asset. Open the weapon interface BPI weapon. Add a function name set asset with an input data asset of type BP weapon data asset. Next open BP weapon and implement the set asset function by promoting the input to a variable. Call set skeletal mesh asset. Set the new mesh to the mesh of the data asset. And apply the transform to the relative transform of the mesh. Select updating skeletal mesh. and collapse it into a function named apply asset. Open function and add start at validation of data asset. And call this function in the construction script. Now we have to open BP character. Add a variable named weapon asset of type weapon data asset. and select rifle as a default variable. Open the construction script. Open the construction script and call set anim instance class of mesh and set the animation class of weapon asset as a new class. Also pass the weapon asset to the child actor of the weapon via set asset function. Lastly, select the weapon and reset the transform. Open the level and check if everything works properly with new asset. And it works well. Thank you for your attention and see you soon!